Hi vlog, it's question Friday, the day I answer real questions from real people on the internet who I totally sort of harassed for questions. Although this is actually coming out on Friday because I'm super late, but more to the point, I'm a week behind. And I'll talk about that at the end. But first, let's get right into it. Oh, and I'm doing this all from my bed because I don't want to get out of bed. Is that what it is? That's how it's happening. Deal with it. Moving on. What do you actually do for a job? Because you talk about being on set all the time, but you never actually specify what you do. I work in the wardrobe department for film and television um, and short films and really whatever the, they'll pay me to do. I also write and direct, but mostly unpaid stuff for that. That's usually just for glory because glory is excellent. Glory is glorious, in fact. Um, but for money, usually it's wardrobe department and it's fun. What's the hardest part about your job on set? It really depends on the, the show and the actors, really. Because if you're working with a really fidgety actor, you've got to worry about continuity, making sure everything's in the same place, they haven't shuffled their sleeves up, they haven't taken off all their rings, stuff like that. But like on my last show, the or two shows ago now? Two shows ago now, I had not considered all the variables and the wear and tear that these pieces were gonna have to go through, and so I had to then rebuild them as we went, and then I also had to make sure that it looked the same on camera, uh, which was fun, because then that was a lot of hiding my upgrades. So th yeah, it, it really depends on the job. I can't say there's like one part that's harder than the other. Depends on the day. Do you use pre-tied or self-tied bow ties for your Doctor Who stuff? Pre-tied, same as the ones they use on the show. Not the same brand, but the ones on the show are pre-tied. At least the red ones. Why do Torontonians always complain about the weather? Now, the pretentious side of me wants to answer with because we're the center of Canada, I mean, come on. But actually, science dictates that it's because we live near a lake. Because lakes take longer to warm up and longer to cool down, and so they keep the, the temperature fairly mellow. So it's actually fairly, you know, comfortable most of the time. Unlike, say, Ottawa, which is either stupidly cold or ungodly hot all the time. It's just, it's never comfortable there. You're either too warm, too cold, or getting ice at your face. It's bad. Living in Toronto where it's not bad, it's quite nice. Like 98% of the time, you notice a lot more when it isn't nice. We're spoiled, so we notice when things aren't great. Because we're awesome. If you were given the opportunity to go out and be part of one of the first groups to begin the colonization of space, would you? My answer to that is hinging on a series of variables, which you did not specify in your question, so I'm going to have to put in here now. So A, am I going with my current qualifications, or do I actually have a qualification that is worthwhile to go into space for? I mean, that's a lot of money and training and food and space. Are they picking me because in this hypothetical I have an excellent skill, or... Is it just that they're like, hey, let's send this quirky filmmaker dude into space? Um, and if that's the case, B, do I get to choose my team? Because if I'm going into deep space and colonizing, I'm going to want to bring my friends with me. So that's another thing. And do they need to have skills? <laughs> do you see how complicated this question is? So if yes, we're just sending me, am I allowed to bring my friends? If yes, then absolutely that sounds awesome. I'm not a big fan of outside anyway, let's do it. But... If I have to have a skill, do I actually have to learn that skill? Because that sounds like a lot of work. And then two, if I do need a skill, can I still bring my friends? Or do they also need to have skills? If no to any of these questions, then no. I would rather stay here with my friends than go into space without them. Because that would be sad. If you could be doing one thing right now, what would you be doing and why? Traveling in time or also slash and space. Time and space. Because it's cool. And because if given the opportunity, what else could you possibly be doing with your time that is more fun slash important slash fun? And that's it for this week. Although, actually, I will probably post my regular vlog in a couple days. Probably Tuesday? Let's go with Tuesday, just hypothetically. Other than that, please follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube. The subway is always that way because this is how I face in the room. I will see you on Tuesday and then also on next Saturday for a Robin Reviews. So please, 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 super please post something that you want me to review in the commenty section or tweet it at me, something. 
That'd be awesome. All right, thank you so much. Until then, have a great week. I love you, lady. Goodbye. Also, hello, nurse. Send maniacs jokes doing anything for you? No? We're gonna cut this bit.